Hello, everybody, and welcome to my Tolus A340 Cold and Dark tutorial. Today, I'm going to go through how to get the airplane started from Cold and Dark. Hopefully, it's informative, and hopefully, I can help you fly your new beautiful 340. For today's startup, we're going to fly from Copenhagen to Munich, and we are rocking the the beautiful Star Alliance livery. A Lufthansa that is so pretty. I love it. Without any further ado, let's hop in the pit. So once you're here, first thing you want to do is go to your overhead panel and you want to get your two batteries to on. So they're here, bat one, bat two, click on them both. Then head down to your external power, B and A, get both of them on. That's great. Now we'll go to our emergency exit lights. You want to arm them. So use the score wheel here. Set your no smoking to on or auto. Nav lights to on. If you, if you are flying at night time, then put it to logger as well, but it's day, so we'll do just nav today. Uh, do cruise supply to on. Go up here, ideas, align. Left, right. Center or to nav. And that will do it right now for the overhead. We can go down, add in some brightness here. It's funny, uh, the ND is uh, two knobs, so keep that in mind when doing your uh, brightness settings. You can back to as well. I like it bright. I don't know about you, but I like my plane nice and bright. Indeed, beautiful, and that should be it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our McDo, but first here's the pedestal, and your McDo is located in the top left for the captain. So today's flight is from Copenhagen to Munich, as I said before. You can see we have our air cycle set in here, so I'm using. Navigraph, so that is correct. I'm going to sim brief, which I also made a video on. If you uh, I need a sim brief, that is available on my channel too. First thing you want to do is go to your init page. So init page, oops, so init page. We're going to enter an airport. So our airport for departure is Copenhagen, Kastrup. So it's the four letter I carry code, which is Echo. Kilo Charlie Hotel. You could do a slash here. And then our arrival airport is Munich, which is Echo Delta Delta Mike. Go to the top right, click that in. Here you put your flight number. We are uh we'll just make it up. We are Lufthansa. We'll say we're four three five. Why not? We're gonna leave it this blank for now. We'll do it after we have our load set. Your cross index, that will come in your sim brief plan, but you can also just choose a number. We have 112 on sim brief, so we can enter that in. And we're going to cruise today at a flight level 350. So let's do 350 in there and done. Now we're going to go to our Tolus menu. So go to your uh, navbar, plugins, Tolus. Open the ISES screen and they'll bring up a nice window here. If you are new to the aircraft, definitely check out all the pages here and get it configured to your liking. We're going to go to a loading performance page here. So, looking at Sim Brief, which I can show you. Let me uh, bring it up here. Okay, there we go. Here, here's our, I'll put it, I reckon I'll put it here. Make it like, that'll work. So, 
our trip fuel is in there all we need is our block fuel so that is here our block fuel that is 22,000 that is our so point one. so we'll go back and that will be so that'll be 22.1 so we'll get our fuel in here it's a lot of fuel 22.1 and i'll be around around about that there i'll be around and we'll hit quick refuel and defuel now we'll go back to our uh, sim brief here and we can go to our zero fuel rate so that is 212 tons so we'll go back now and we'll set 212 in our zero fuel rate so we're, we're going to change some Settings here with our cargo and our number of passengers. So we can we'll go a little bit down on the on the cargo. And we'll go down here too. And that'll be about right. Around there. That'll work well. Now we'll go apply these load settings. And now we're good to go. So number of People on board is one, two, seven. Now we'll go to our RS init page. Press align and reference, confirm the alignment. That is good to go. Beautiful. Now we'll press the arrow, the right arrow, and we're going to enter our zero fuel weight, which is 212.1. Flash our CG, so that is our center of gravity. It's here. 23.0 is that so we'll get that in there and pop it in there our block fuel is 22.2 .2. and once you enter it it should be green beautiful we get green values very good now we can go to our flower plan page and here we're going to enter our seed and star so if we go to copenhagen We'll go to here, click on departure. We're going to be taking it from runway 2 to right today. So we're going to find that here. There it is. Click on that there. And today's SID out of Copenhagen will be the Simic 8 Charlie. So we'll find that here. A lot of them. There it is. And none. We're going to insert that in there. Now, using our flight plan from Simic. Oh, and an airway. So, Simeg, click on the waypoint, go to airways, and then we're on an airway called Mike 736. There's on the left side. And we're taking the airway to Backdo. Then, then we'll, we'll insert our airway there. Because you have a direct now. So from back, back dough, we're going direct to the waypoint top D. So we'll go top D and we and we'll click it on the flight plan discontinuity over there. We'll go above like you want it to be. Then we're going direct to side row. Then we're going on another area, so we'll go insert there and we'll go side row. Airways, we're going on Tango 703 to Lula. So Lula. Then on another airway, Tango 105 to Landu. We'll get that in there now. And for our start and arrival, we're going to go to Munich. Arrival. We're going to plan to land runway 26 right. So let's find it on our map here. You will order set your uh, approach frequency and stuff. Your artist approach, so that's all fine there. Our start is the Landu to Bravo. Let's find that now. There it is. All land is shortened there. There will be, approach will be no via. And no there. And we'll insert. So that is our flight plan complete. And I'll show you that on our map shortly. 
You're still going to align here. So not waste time. We'll go to our perf page now. So perf page. We'll go to our tallest menu again. We're going to get flaps three in here. Now, it sounds crazy, but you need flaps three in this airplane because you don't want to, don't want to tell strike it. That is how it is in real life. So flaps three. And we're going to go V1 is one for six. VR is also one for six. And V2 is one five one. We'll keep the de default there, or the altitude there. Um, we'll go flaps three, so three, flash our trim. Our trim is up 3.4. So we'll do up 3.4. That goes in here. And our flex, we're going to put an F in front of the number. F. And the temp is 46. So we'll do F46. And I'll go in there. And that is our perf push complete. And that will conclude the mech do part of the video. So now we've got a fully functioning fly plane with all our speeds and constraints plugged in. That is what used for our VNAV. I'll get it over here too. Now when it aligns, I'll show you our fly plan. We can, we can take over a VR here for now. So we have more space. It's aligned. Here you will set your weather, which is 1015. Make sure it is set for me. And I'll also, I'll show my constraints. So now I'll go to plan on our route. And I'll show you our route. So here's our city out of Copenhagen. Now we're going south to Germany. Here's our top of the same marker, the white stick there. And there's the arrival into Munich. And you can see how the arrival is perfect. And that is our go around, go around uh, procedure there. So let's go back up again. Cool. That route is good. Now we're going to go back to our panel. Now our fuel's on board. We're going to get our seat belts to on. Or auto, up to you. And we're going to get our AP on because you're almost ready to go here. So firstly, get all of your fuel pumps on, all of them. If you have a small amount of fuel, you're still going to get them all on. So get them all on here. What a big bird this is. Keep your valve to auto. And then you want to go to AP master panel, just here, and click on AP master Cool. And you can track your APU on the lower ECAM. So once it says flap open, we'll spool it up. Also, we can get our squawk set. There's no control here, so we'll get just squawk in there as 2000 on and TRO on that. Also, we'll get our weather panel. Both these go to auto. This goes to one and that goes to auto. That's it. Now APU, we've got the message saying the flaps open. We can go APU here now. We can go APU start. And we might even hear it spooling up, actually. Let's have a listen. That's right. What an airplane. I love it. I'm loving it. Leave your, th your thoughts about the airplane in the comments below. I want to you know, hear about what you think about it. Is it worth it and stuff? Because I'm, I'm loving it right now. It's, really, it's a really cool airplane. There's the fumes in my APU so it is firing up which is good here it comes beautiful love these wings beautiful okay so we'll look at our APU progress so we got APU available so once you get the available message you go overhead again you go APU battery to on, APU battery to on there. Then what you can do is go APU bleed here to on. And then you go external power off. That's it. Now we'll go to our tallest menu here. Um, will be ground services, external power, remove them. 
You can also turn out closed doors and stuff in that menu as well. It's fine, cool. Perfect. Now we can get, we can get our beacon two on. Because we are ready to push back. So I'm going to call my tug. So I'll go uh, better push back here. Ground to cockpit. Please show me where Ooh, you want to okay. go. A tight push back here, isn't it? We can go this way. We'll just go like that. Yeah. Ground to cockpit. Poe is driving up. Perfect. I put our range to 10 here too. Make it easier for us on departure. And here goes your cruise. Or if you are in Vatsim or IVO, it will be your initial climb given by control. We're going to cruise today at 350, so I'll get that in. Here comes our tug. That is set. Wonderful. Here it comes. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Wonderful. We're ready to connect. And if you want, we can get our camera on if you think that will work yeah so now you have oh, that is amazing look at that <laughs> so now we can look at our taxi camera i think it even shows here too isn't it it does <laughs> i love that feature so cool we even got our signs on too And bypass pin okay. release parking so, once you hear that also if you haven't got the mod you can go to the tallest menu and you can do push from here too if you want somewhere or is it yeah ground services but i highly recommend that you get better pushback it's really good so once you get that message you go your engine ignition to start and you then release your park brake There you go. And, you may and now engines. you will start the first the first engine you start is number two. So number two here goes on. So now we'll monitor number two. So it'll be in here on it. I think it'll be here. Yeah, there it is. There it goes. I think in Villa have to have all order for it. So like, um, it's safe for the ground crew. I believe that's what they do in real life. But um, but, but like for us is fine. There's number two coming to life now. So. I haven't got the exact order. But I believe it will be two, three, one, and four. I think so. Now, firstly, I'm not a pilot. <laughs> but um, I think you will start your, in, your inner ones first, won't you? So, two is now on. Because it has that gray shading. We'll go number three to on two. That's great. Now we can monitor our start on our ecamp, so ooh, love that. 
That's pulling off right there. Is an N3. Operation okay. complete. Set parking, set parking, parking brake. So we'll go down here again and set our brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Here comes three. Avail. Now we'll go number one. So. Great, that's holding up too. So Our nice. Disconnected oh. and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have yep. a safe time. Yep, got going on now. Great. Let's go back here and that is available lastly that number four uh four goes to on nice so cool meanwhile we can set some stuff here so we'll go flaps to three and we're going to arm out spoilers. And we'll go brakes to RTF for takeoff. We're good. And we'll also get some last one for our, our taxi here. So we'll go run my light on. Nose to nose. Beautiful. Call the cabin, we're good to go. All right, now we've got four good engines. We'll go back here and we'll get our ignition to normal again. And now we can get our AP off. So AP bleed off, AP master off. Check your overhead again. Everything here is fine for us. And now we are good to taxi to either the wrong way. Beautiful. So you just release park brake. And off you go. So that will conclude my cold and dark video. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was informative. It was a lot of fun to make. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a like. Also, uh, if you're new here and you like live streams, I uh, stream in both this sim and this plane too. I'll be having a 1k sub stream for Cross the Pond Day in this plane. I also stream in Microsoft too. Uh, so press the subscribe button, join the AB crew. Would love to have you on board. Also, any questions or any help, join my server. I've got two servers, so I've got my main hub, where you'll hang out. We also have a server I made for my VATSIM training program. So, more info linked below. You can join my training program where we, have, where we hold VATSIM events made for newbies. Maybe you're a bit scared of the network, so I'm going to help you out there. We've got a whole team who are working on helping you guys out. So, check it out, link below. Until next time. Enjoy the new aircraft. Hopefully, this um, startup was good. We'll be out. Take off. Config that too. But until next time, thanks for watching and enjoy the new airplane. It's a really lovely airplane. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.